Hey, hey, universe and mining family. Grab your shovels and your pickaxes. Welcome to the show. I'm Nemesis, and of course, I'm not your babysitter. Do your own research, but let's dig in. Yo, what's going on, crypto family and mining nation out there, guys? Yo! So, today I'm going to be doing some um, documenting some testing that I've been doing. Um, considering that I've got this awesome um, 1660 Ti that I got from uh, our friend uh, Sapphire Ed from uh, Sapphire. Uh, he was very gracious enough to allow us to um, have one of these cards so we can do some testing on it. See what they can do from uh, the mining perspective. Um, so this is just me kind of going through um, making sure that I am able to hook up with it and all that good stuff. So I did plug this into my Hive rig already once, uh, just to make sure that this would turn on. And um, I wanted to quickly uh, pull the BIOS off of it and see what it could really do. Um, so considering that um, we need to do some testing on it, Let's go ahead and just kind of dig right on into um, getting this thing onto my mining rig. And considering that Hive does register this as a RX 570 with 16 gigabytes of memory. So I mean, it does read the card properly, which is really interesting. Um, so let's dig into it, guys. Yo! So there's the rig view, guys. That's the rig that I'm going to be testing on with, so let's dig into this awesomeness. So, so the first thing we're going to do is power it down. We can go ahead and power this good stuff down so we're not playing with electronics that are on. Bam. And for testing purposes, uh, what I usually end up doing is I turn this into more of a workbench. Um, so I unplug all the risers off the cards so that they're not in the mix of what I'm doing here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to unplug all of them. A little warm in here. Woo. This thing's been hashing for days. So bam. Alright, so this one is in my slot one. Um, I originally had a couple of uh, RX 580s here, so I needed to make sure I put an NVIDIA in slot one, so this is my slot one. So uh, before I unbolt the graphics card, I'm gonna unplug everything off of it. Just like that. And then the handy dandy tool. Now, I don't tighten these that very, that all that tight because it is an aluminum frame. Let's pull this bad boy. Woo! It is toasty. I mean, you put your hand right here. Woo! It is warm. Now, dun dun dun! The RX 570 Grin Miner going in. I do not remember if I have the green wall at all. Yeah, I do. I've got green on there, I think. So, plug you in, just like so. Get you off to, out of the way so you're not touching anything. Make sure I plug the riser in. Alright. 
Alright, so as this thing is uh, booting up, let's see if it'll well, let's see if it'll do what I want. Hey, there we go. So and let me change it to that. There we go. <clears throat> Boom, bam. So that's the, the rig screen kind of popping up here. So it does register the card, like I said, and it does register it as a RX 570 uh, Sapphire with Micron memory in here. Uh, not Samsung, guys, Micron. They got 16 gigabytes of Micron. And let's see here. I think it's hooking right into Ethereum Classic right now. So that'll be kind of interesting. Um, I think I had, I'd like to get some notes down. Okay, so this would be with a overclock on it. Oh, hello. Let's take overclocks off. <laughs> Even though I know it'll run it, I just don't want to hit it too hard. Right off the bat, let's take that off, we'll do that, bam. So now at least, because uh, like I said, I did have 580s, so I'm taking the overclock that I had for the 580s off of it, so it puts this into a now a stock position. I probably should have looked at this before I uh, started this up, of course. <laughs> And let's see here, I can remote access into all of this stuff and actually watch the rig boot up. So let's boot this up here. So let's boot this up, but bam. So this, whenever you're not running a um, a computer monitor, keyboard, and all that stuff, you got to be able to take a look and see what the miner's actually doing. So she is booting into it. This is awesome. It's like, huh. But the thing is, it's not responding. Wow, that was weird. Oh yeah, that's right. There's a, uh, a bio switch on the back of this card. I wonder if it, if it being in the up position, because uh, Sapphire, um, Sapphire uh, has put together this graphics card as a mining car specific card. So like all of us miners, we all do um, our own BIOS on this thing. So like I said, I did pull BIOS. Uh, I didn't run any of this stuff yet. I was just making sure that it would turn on, it would recognize the card. I pulled BIOS on it. So here is um, the BIOS on there. So this is the BIOS with the uh, switch in the up position. And then this is the BIOS with it in the down position. So my suspicion is that the down position is like either a standard BIOS um, upgrade or a standard 570s BIOS. Um, I don't have another 570 to compare what the BIOS reading should be for stock. Um, but if this is a configured one, this was not as configured as this. So if you look at the memory here, um, I've got 300 hertz at 1,000 millivolts, um, all the way up to 1750 hertz at 1,000 millivolts. Well, over here, I got 300 millivolts at 1,000 and 2,000 hertz at 1,000 millivolts. So th what this is is uh, clock timing. So this is gonna affect all your clock speeds. Um, and then you can see that they didn't really, they, they optimized it even in um, with the Jeep, the, 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 uh, the core on this too. So the stock core, the millivolts ramped up a lot higher. 
as you can see over here. And then here they got the millivolts really flatlined at 900 millivolts. So they went ahead and pulled the target power back pretty far for uh, Linux. So that's where it made me kind of believe that this is more of like a stock setting for the, the BIOS in this position. Um, so with that being said, it looks like this is probably the position that I've got to have the switch in for it to work in Hive. Because right now I have it in this position with the, the switch in the up position not having it right now. So it looks like I'm just getting failure after failure. Yep, it's just failing out as I'm sitting here chit-chatting with you guys. So um, if you guys are wondering how to uh, pull BIOS or do BIOS up modding yourself, um, you can sit there and download the, the vBIOS here and it'll dial, download the current BIOS. Um, and then you can, in that program that you saw me uh, pull up, um, I can do my upgrades from there and then I can flash the BIOS onto the graphics card itself and then I can pick them individually. So that's one thing that's really nice about uh, Hive, especially over like Simple Miner. Um, if you're running this on Windows, um, you will be able to interface it really close to how Hive does it. Um, but let's go ahead and power down this rig and put the switch in the down position. And you want to do this with the, the power off. You never want to hit that bio switch with the powers on. And let the rig completely boot down when you do this. All right. And switch down. Power back on. All right, so. That power is now back on. Switch is now in a down position. So it should technically start hashing. Let's see what she does. Now this is in a complete stock setting. Let's go ahead, turn all that stuff off. I will leave this because it did crash out. Let's start up a new uh, hive shell which will allow me to look at exactly what the miner's doing in real time having live data is always nice from time to time all right bam yo it's already hashing yo that was the issue so uh, the bio switch in the up position is in um, Sapphire's special BIOS uh, uh, that they're using for their Grin Miner. And they were saying something that I have to do this in Linux. So we'll have to see if um, whenever I get this onto my Linux machine that I download their optimized drivers and we'll see what she actually gets here. So it looks like she should be starting to settle in here just a little bit. Now remember this is a 570, so we should be seeing 570, 580-ish speeds. So we know it's definitely working. We're getting 24.47 mega hash in stock settings. That's not bad, really. I got 50% fan curve on there, so staying pretty cool, 52C. I like this. Um, we are using 130 watts to maintain this, though. And it looks like I'm climbing a little bit of extra hash power, so, I mean, it still looks like it might be settling in, so maybe after, you know, 10, 20 minutes or so, uh, it should start uh, settling in. So I'm going to do this first bit of it with... Uh, no BIOS, uh, uh, I mean, uh, with no optimization through overclocking yet. So we're just gonna write down, let's see here, 24.66. And I'm gonna write these down this way I have a, an actual record of everything and that this is at stock settings, but bam. 
So that's actually not too bad. Stock settings on this. Cool. <clears throat> now I do have a few of these already pre-configured. And let's see how it works. And considering that this is a um, should be working with like Ethereum, so therefore uh, Bitcoin interest, which is uh, Prague Pow, uh, this should possibly work, I guess. Uh, let's see if this even tries to connect in. So the new proof of uh, work uh, uh, algorithm that um, Ethereum will be going into. Or should I go into Ethereum? Hmm. You know what? I'm going to do Ethereum first. Let's see if it's how much of a difference stock setting is on Ethereum from Ethereum Classic. Probably isn't going to be any real difference, just to be honest with you guys. Good. Downloading the DAG file. Now remember, I just like this is all in stock settings, so I haven't even optimized it. We'll go back through this and with them and and the optimized settings and see how she likes it. So we got 23.22. So I get a little better hash rate on, on a Ethereum Classic by like one mega hash. That's not bad really. And that's all in stock. Oh, now we jumped. Bam, look at that. 24.05. Let's see if she holds out over there. And whenever you're mining, sometimes you gotta sit there and kinda wait for it a little bit. So, um, for the hash rate to kinda ramp up. Um, especially my AMD cards, they seem to be like the slow ones, man. My, my uh, Nvidia cards, you turn them on, bam, they're just punching, you know, running through the gates, dude. Seems like the AMD card, it's like, I'll get there, give me a second. <laughs> so, let's see here, 24.775. So now it looks like she's settling in at around 24. This is at 135 watts. So the wattage has stayed the same between Ethereum and Ethereum Classic. Or actually, yeah. So now let's go into another miner. Yo! So let's check out the. BCI. Let's see if this even wants to play with it. I don't even know, actually. Let's find out. Shall we?
Okay, looks like BCI is having an issue. So Bitcoin interest does not want to connect. Let's let's try to possibly edit this if I can. <laughs> it's only got one miner. So Bitcoin interest uh F miner does not recognize this particular graphics card. That's interesting. It's not configured for this. So BCI no go. And now I'm not even going to bother trying it on Raven um, just because I know Raven. Raven's more of a um, NVIDIA dominated algorithm. It's it, it, NVIDIA's got the, the horsepower over uh, over AMD, so that one's not too good. Um, so let's check out um, Monero, guys. Considering that they do have the new Red Miner, Team Red Miner, so I'm gonna check out Team Red Miner on this AMD card because what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to put this card into a more optimized uh, mode and actually split the core into two so if you were once hashing at 700 hashes a second you should now have yo double that come on guys 1400 mega uh, hashes a second that puts you a little bit more profitable because of the way that they're optimizing the cores usage with uh, the, the RAM type that they have. So let's check it out, guys. Hit the little rocket ship here. Bam. Let's see here, and this thing should be booting up. Planner. Bam. All right, so it's initializing, so it sees it. That's a good uh, a good sign so far. Come on. All right, so now it's starting to, hey, look at that, looky, looky. Hey, there's something goofy with this. So it's only seeing the one, only showing one core. It's ramping up now, so I've got 700 hashes a second, 704. but I'm only getting one core. It's not registering this into two cores. That's interesting. I mean, I get it that this uh, RX 570 from Sapphire is a modded card, but this isn't acting like a normal 570. This is acting like an, possibly like an old stock 7. Uh, 570 maybe that's interesting I'm actually kind of a little disappointed in this actually I would figure that this would get give me two cores 704.4 hash a second is a second stock and we are running at 113 watts and it's showing it like it's not hitting on all of its core either I mean, she's getting warm I mean she's working hmm interesting very interesting that's definitely not showing that other core at all. 
And it looks like it just kind of settles right on in at this 704 range right on the bottom side, so. Hmm. I wonder how an overclock will do on that. We'll find out. Ooh. So, let's go into... All right, guys, the moment you all been waiting for. Yo, I think I need to possibly configure this. Hold on here. I do not know. This is going to be 29 or 31. Oh, okay, so this is how you configure it. All right, so. This is on 31. We'll do US uh, Grin 29 first. We'll go ahead and apply this first. Update. And then this way I've got uh, Grand 29 and stock. All right. Blast off. Let's see what you do. Ooh, she just busts right on into it, guys. Woo. Man, she just like boots up into this like it's nobody's business. All right, so stock settings. We are at 1.5 graphs per second on Grin 29. So, now she's kind of settling in, so it's probably like 1.4, yeah, 1.4, 1.5, yeah, give or take, somewhere right up around there, I bet you if I let it settle in a little bit more, but, yeah, she's definitely working away, that is for sure. And then, what is my power draw on you? We are at 122 watts. So, let's check it out on Grin 29, um, just because that's supposed to be the ASIC dominated algorithm, and, um, or Grin 31, I mean, um, I'm on 29, so Grin 31 will be the ASIC algorithm. It needs a, a minimum of 11 gigabytes of uh, RAM on the graphics card. Um, it's why my uh, my 8 gigabyte 1080 can actually mine on there and considering I have numbers for my 1080 I can actually see if this is better or worse than a 1080 um, I can tell you from right now that on Grin 29 my 1080 um, gets oh God, I got the numbers right over here hold on here so 
grin on a 1080 is, let's see here, 7.2 uh, graphs per second at 230 watts. So that's actually not too bad. I'll leave my notes over here so you're not so far away from me this time. Um, so let's go ahead and switch this over to thirty-one. So I'll make sure that I do the US thirty-one, of course. Take twenty-nine off. Apply. Update. And it's going to ask you this, hey, because I got a worker on here. Hey, do you want to update all your workers that are on here? Oh, yes, please, please do. And then it's going to kill that. I got to log back in. Damn, it's like already there. Oof. like it did anything. So I thought that it was supposed to be a difference in hashing out. I was on 29, now I'm on 31. Okay. Interesting. Grin 31. All right, so Grin 31, I've got 1.5 graphs per second. Now I wonder, now you got me wondering. Like, did it mess up before? Okay, here, so. Now I'm just curious to make sure that I'm getting the same readings on both of these. And that it's... Kukuru 29. Wow. So it looks like this card performs equal. On both. Wow. That's actually pretty impressive. Not on the Grin 29 side. On the Grin 29 side, my 1080 stomps this thing. But on the 31 side, on Grin 31, this 570 is just like a 1080. That's actually pretty impressive, and that's with no overclock on it, no optimization. Hmm. I would expect it to do better now. Looking at these particular numbers, whenever I get this on Linux, because it's uh, the, the drivers that, that Sapphire gave me, or optimized for Linux, I expect to see better numbers than this with better power draw. Um, so, you know, 129 watts on Grin 20, uh, on 29, so 
129 watts. Uh, let me go back over to here and so I can get my... My power limit for 31, because I did not record that. Of course, right, guys? Man, she connects in so quickly to this. Okay, four grin 31, awesome. I got 125 watts, so bam. So Grin 29 uses a little more wattage, it looks like. I'll go ahead and let it settle in, but it looks like this thing is hitting just as good on 31 as my 10, 1080, so that's actually really impressive. And it uses a lot less power than my 1080. Because if my 1080 is using 230 watts, once it's optimized. It's like, damn, this thing's not even optimized and it's already pulling better wattage. So, okay, now that it's settled in, 136. So, 120, 129 watts on Grin 29 and uh, 136 watts on Grin 31. Any other flight sheets I got here set up? I could just set up one for for Raven. Yeah, you know what? I'll set one up for Raven. Let's see here. Just so any of you AMD guys are wondering. You want to connect to the closest thing to where you live. This way you have the, la the latency is not so bad. It's not so much that you're not going to see your hash rate being correct. It's your submitted shares are going to be a little low uh, to the pool. So when you look at it on pool side, you're going to notice a difference. And got to use an AMD uh, miner. So that'll be SG and... Create the flight sheet. Bam. So now I have an AMD flight sheet for Raven. And I can go back into here. Delete that off there. And I can go into my flight sheet. And, Yo, look at this. I've got a Raven miner now. So now you guys even got to see me set up a, a flight sheet really quickly. The only thing you didn't see me do is set up my wallet, but. Um, it would have prompted you to uh, the, actually just have a wallet address put in there. So depending on what coin you're wanting to mine, um, make sure you have a subsequent wallet address for it, most certainly, guys. Do, 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 do. Looks like it's downloading stuff. First time I'm messing with SG Miner, so it might be just downloading some stuff, or it's having an issue trying to look at the card. One of the two is happening. <laughs> 
So it's downloading stuff now, it looks like. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. It better not be doing anything because it just turned my fan off. It's not, no. Flight she. Re hit that. I like turn my fans off. Note, note to everybody, if your fans turn off, stop mining. That's why whenever you're testing, you kind of got to be watching what's going on. doesn't look like this uh, SG miner plays very nicely with this uh, AMD card. As soon as it starts to mine, it turns the fans off. Fail me now. I get two point two stock no fans. All right, let's go put it onto something a little more friendlier for it. Something that'll keep it cool. Cause when those fans don't turn on, that's what really grinds my fans. It's like, good God, You're kidding me. So, Raven's out of the question on that card. Fans don't turn on. So, let's make sure what I put you on. Okay. I've got you on green right now. So, let's start you off at the, from the top here on uh, an Ethereum Classic. And do they have red, uh, Team Red Miner here? No, okay. All right, bam, so. Make sure you're booting in. Bam. So it's now booting into that Ethereum Classic. Now, we can start playing with uh, the overclocks on this. So, whenever you're playing with the overclocks, you're basically, you're making the timings on this optimized a little bit better. You're just kind of fine tuning it and then you're trying to pull power off of it to keep temperatures down and to help put keep uh, you from spending more money on electricity that you do not need to. So let's dive into this one. Now, the 570s and the 580s are really, really close to each other. 
Uh, so you can pretty much hit these really, really similar. So 11.30 on the core, I know this one. Um, core state index, um, I always keep this at five, it's right in the middle area. Um, it just kind of helps regulate voltage whenever you're doing the extreme undervolting. Yo. Um, core voltage, 975 seems to be that a sweet spot. And then um, 2200 on the MEM. Now, now the other thing that I I'm going to do this in a second here, but I could put the MEM state into a in, into a different BIOS state. I believe it is. Um, so I'm going to try it with a a one or a two in there and we're gonna see if it makes any difference guys so we're gonna go ahead and save this so now we got our first overclock Hey babe, can I get a water? Thank you. You're the best. I know. Oh, Ooh, crackage of the neck. Nice. And we're just sitting here waiting for this to submit some shares. Ready to submit? Come on. We all reboot the miner if that's what it means. Sometimes when you're messing with a bunch of stuff on there, sometimes you gotta reload stuff in because it gets hung up a little bit, which is fine. You just push it back out, make it, make it do it. Yep, that's what I thought. Phoenix, Phoenix Miner rebooted. <laughs> Thank you. Phoenix Miner is now crashing with this. Let's bring this down to 21. I bet you this will work now. Hmm. 
I might have to reboot it because a lot of times if you crash out an AMD card, you, you really duff the driver sometimes. So. I might have duffed the driver. Let it all boot back up now. Yep, I duffed the driver, that's why I had to reboot it, so now she's like, alright, I can do stuff now. Temperamental little thing. Oh, bright. Kind of ramping up there a little bit now. So, let's see if I can take this a little further. So, I know 22 doesn't like to boot up, it crashes, so let's try 2150. So with it at 21.50 on the memory, it's now at 29.47 at 103 watts. Wow. Let's see if she sits here for a few seconds if I get any more. Yo, she broke 30. Broke 30. Oh, wow. Wow. We got 30. Yeah, buddy. So... 30 mega hash on Ethereum Classic with the Core at 1130, um, uh, Core voltage at 975 with the MEM at 2150. Damn. Damn, son, where'd you find that? <laughs> All right, so now let's start walking through these algorithms with the overclock on there. You know what? I'm going to check out that memory stat status. Oop. Go into here. And I'm going to try this on one. We're going to try this. See what happens. I have no clue. I don't know if this will help the hash rate out, if it's going to hurt it at all. No clue.
<laughs> Let's see here. So that negatively impacted it, so putting it at a course uh, status at 1 cut 5.5 mega hash off. Holy cow! So that obviously doesn't really do too much. Ex yeah, not for this. We'll try it in two. Try number two. It's the first time I'm trying to play with the memory state index. So putting it into core uh, mem status 2 brings you back right where it was. So, bam. It kind of, I think it depends on what side of the bio switch it's hitting. That would be my suspicion. I wonder if it's got any kind of explanation on this. Arx cords are known to have one or two memory states, which that would be the... Uh, Oh, okay, and then also including an idle state. The highest highest state will be in selected by default. In some rare cases, cards may fail to undervolt on the highest state. It's thus requiring to set to a lower one, for example. Oh. Oh, you know what? I never did an aggressive undervolt on your butt. Let's do it. See if it crashes. See if this does anything. Definitely hitting a little harder now. Not by much. It'll take a second for my front page just to load that in. Alright, so 30... Point one two. So the highest that I saw before was 30.11. So made a little bit of a difference here, guys. Yo. So let's move on to other ones. I mean, we're hitting that one hour point right now. We're like getting right there. Now that I've got an optimized. And obviously, Raven Miner will not. Uh, mine on this so let's move on to that xmr guys yo let's see how she works
There we go. Du, 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 du. Ah, all right. So whenever I first hit it on there originally, it was at 704. So with an overclock on there and an undervolt, we're already up on hash power, 770 for the first set. And she's gonna settle in a little bit more too, I bet. Oh, wow. 863.6, damn. That's better than all my NVIDIAs, that's for sure. Now imagine if this thing would, I can unlock the other half of the core. That would be amazing. This thing would be hitting like a, a Vega 50, uh, 64 if I can get it to, to hit like that, because a 64 is like 1900 hash a second to uh, 2000 hash a second with uh, Team Red Miner. So this isn't too bad. Um, definitely not utilizing the core all the way for some reason. And wow, we are at a whopping 84 watts. With it at 704.4 hash a second stock, it was at 113 watts. We are dropped it to 84 watts. Wow, that that is a huge, huge drop. I mean, even this alone, means that it's semi-profitable uh, to be mining Monero with this card. Yo! So, we have that number now recorded. And let's do some of that Ethereum. Let's see what Ethereum does. I bet you it's not too far off from where, um, where Ethereum Classic is, but let's find out. As it slowly ramps up. Huh, interesting. Like staying low on hash on here for some reason. Nope. Oh, we're starting to lift up a little more. 29. Oh yeah, she's being lazy to start. I'm getting high. <laughs> just doesn't seem to get high, higher where it used to. So what I'm going to do for this is we're going to try it like this. Maybe it doesn't like me to have a MD, uh, the memory uh, messed with like that. 
You're only supposed to mess with that if you have, if you suspect your hash rate's a little low. that as soon as I put it to zero hash rate back up Bam. so yeah you guys can see right there how a little change um, with uh, the memory what that does is it's just setting the intensity on the memory so with it in the zero position with no number it just sets it to the highest configuration uh, difficulty and now the card reacts better Let's check out. You know what? I, I just wonder. I'm gonna do this for for you know testing purposes. So I'm gonna get this to boot up one last time, and I'm gonna try to uh, change the memory on there. Maybe it shall start hashing. Maybe. Fingers crossed. Exited, just what I was expecting you to do. Oh. Oh. Let's put you to two. Oh no, it's not having nothing of that. It's like, no friend, we're not doing that. It's like, fine, whatever. So, let's check out some of that green. Still configuring. There we go. Bam. All right. So this is on 29. So it looks like on with an overclock on 29, I lost a 0 0.1. But I might have lost 0.1 uh, graphs per second, but I went from 129 watts down to 92 watts. Wow. Now that's actually pretty significant to be able to drop that kind of hash rate. Um, now, if I was able to ramp that up a little bit more, uh, like if the card was a better optimized for uh, Hive, uh, could it hit harder? Uh, possibly. Um, this with recording these numbers down is going to get me the ability to um, whenever I have this in Linux I have uh, base numbers to actually put this against so we'll, we're gonna see if Sapphire's uh, homemade drivers are actually better than uh, what I can use on a, a regular mining program so overclock 
Now I'm also going to take this memory status thing off. That could possibly be messing with it. She would think that I should get better hash rate, not be losing hash rate. Lifting back up the other way. So it looks like this card did better in the stock setting. Other, I mean, for hash power wise. Um, for power usage, way better now. So. Now letting the card kind of settle in here. We got overclock. Uh, we got 11.30 on the core, five on the state, 9.75, 21.50. And 1.4 grams per second at 89 watts. So that's actually really good. All right. So now, I wonder if I can hit her with a little more core. Probably not. But you know what? For testing purposes. Let's see if I can hit her like a like a 580. Sometimes you can get away with just a pinch on the, the core, sometimes no. didn't do too much it looks like it's holding it but yeah it's not doing a whole lot so definitely getting that four point uh, one point four graphs on uh, on 29 so let's check it out now on 31 guys I mean I, yeah so 29 we're going to 31 Oh, this was 31. Okay, so now we're going to check it out in 29. Update. Yeah, update all my workers. Thank you, sir. So it was 
Okay, so the other one was on 31, so 1.4 graphs a second on 31. It wasn't 29. Whoops. So 89 watts on 29, I mean on 31, versus 136. So basically on 31, I did not gain or lose any hash power from the overclock, but I significantly dropped my hash rate by over 50 watts. I mean, imagine being able to turn one fan off every day uh, and keep that one fan off and not be running it. So, I mean, that's pretty much what you're saving with there. Um, on 29, it looks like I do lose a little hash rate off of it, but I'm still at that 88 um, watt range. So, yeah, so it's about the same. So, I mean, 29 and 31 with the overclock gets 1.4 graphs a second at about 88, 89 watts. So that's really not too bad, actually. I mean, just saying. You're really not losing too much. 70 watts, I mean, it's just hanging out really low. Um, I'd like to see what this thing could do on... Um, Oh, oh, she's starting to ramp up a little bit now on 29. Okay, so now we're at 94 watts. Now I just want to let it sit here for a second, see if it just stabilizes out there at 94 watts. Gotta wait 30 seconds before I find out. See if it goes over. All right, yeah, so she just, she just stabilized up. So about 80, we'll call it 89 watts. So that's actually not too bad. So, yep, the next thing I'm gonna be doing testing on guys is going to be um, putting this onto a Linux machine, Linux dedicated machine. I have a 13 year old computer that I want to be testing this out on, seeing if, uh, because they have an eight gigabyte uh, memory requirement of RAM on the PC. Now, this PC is 13 years old. It's got uh, DDDR3 RAM that is being throttled back to about DDDR2 speed, but it is eight gigs of it. So I'm gonna see if I can run uh, both sets of drivers on it. If I can't, um, then this rig here, uh, that's this this rig right here, will be the test bench, and will be I'll be launching uh, Linux onto this one, um, and seeing if it works on there. So either way, I'm going to get uh, both sets of drivers working in Linux, no matter what, because this rig here has. 16 gigabytes of uh, DDDR4 RAM in there, so we have plenty to do with whatever we bloody want with it. So um, stay tuned with that, guys. I hope that you are all um, excited for me to do my next, next be uh, set of testing on, on this uh, Grin Mining card, so definitely stay tuned. Um, for all you guys that have stayed this long, definitely uh, smash that lizard like button, guys. Uh, that helps me out. Share these videos with everybody, guys. Come on now. That always helps me out growing my channel, getting this awesome knowledge to everybody across the globe. Um, and then, you know, hit the bell notification so that anytime I drop a video, you guys stay informed. And uh, with that, guys, like always, I will see you all on the next one. Yo!